Howdy. Samantha here. So I wanted to do a little video with you guys about a book that I recently finished and really loved. It is called The Library Book by Susan Orlean, part of Reese Witherspoon's book club. Um, if you're familiar with The Orchid Thief, same author, Susan Orlean, on this one. It is a piece of nonfiction about the 1986 library fire, the biggest library fire in the United States. Um, something that I honestly had never heard of, which is a little shocking. It was, I guess, overshadowed by Chernobyl happening the same week. Understandably so. So uh, the book covers the library fire in itself, the arson investigation afterwards, as well as the buildup of the Los Angeles library system in the last 100 plus years. It's really interesting. Uh, great history lesson. Not overly technical, something that you can pick up and put down, read here and there, and you won't have any problem following it. Uh, she also talks a little bit about Nazis and book burnings and just some of the history around books, some of the popular stuff that we're all interested in for book readers, um, book lovers. So it is a really good piece of nonfiction, written very well, a lot of research, at least four years of research from what I can tell from what I read in here. And um, I did want to share with you guys a line from the book, my favorite line from the book, actually. In Senegal, the polite expression for saying someone died is to say his or her library has burned. When I first heard the phrase, I didn't understand it. But over time, I came to realize it was perfect. Our minds and souls contain volumes inscribed by our experiences and emotions. Each individual's consciousness is a collection of memories we've cataloged and stored inside us. A private library of life lived. I love that line. Well, two, three lines. I don't know. I love them. Um, I think it's written really well. Something that really speaks to us as book people. She talks about some different cultures in this. She talks about some history stuff in this, um, some personal items, but really overall, it's just a fantastic book. A lot of things they didn't know, um, you know, about like Charles Loomis, for example, the head librarian, the eccentric head librarian of Los Angeles library for a while. Um, just some of the stories in here, really. No idea how I would have found them if I hadn't read this book. So it's a fantastic book. It's definitely worth reading. I would check it out. I'll throw a link in the description um, to some of the book reviews on it, maybe to Goodreads. And uh, I will throw over the ISBN number in case you want to look it up to read it yourself. Definitely check it out, guys.